everyone! It's Megan Rose from the Philippines. So welcome to the 286th episode of Ganchildiera, a show and tell of crochet and craft related items. Today is September 13, 2020. It's a Sunday. I'm making a regular podcast today since Ate has no work today and Mama has gone to church. So this is the start of the Burr months here in the Philippines. We are known to having a uh, Christmas celebration in the longest time. <laughs> so ever since the Burr months uh, began, there are some Christmas songs that are in and then it is the start of our celebration here in the Philippines. So since uh, the celebration is coming up, uh, I wanted to make some ornaments of some sorts for Christmas. And you may have seen me uh, purchase this some type of nylon cord from Divisoria which has some lurex in it. It is some type of nylon cord that is thinner and a bit stiffer that I bought in bundles. So I was going to turn it into some type of coin purse or sling bag. But then I decided just to turn it into a uh, crochet snowflakes ornament. So that is the first object that I want to share with you guys today. So I was able to make some. Uh, I thought I was only going to get uh, two out of the bundle of yarn. But I was able to make four for each color. So this is how the light blue came up it's a little bit stiff so you don't need to block it i guess you just need to uh, pull this picos here so that it will stretch and have that snowflakes shape so for this uh for this uh crochet item i was able to follow a tutorial from expression fiber arts it is the first time that i was able to visit the channel although i have been hearing you guys uh say things about her and it is really um easy tutorial to follow and it only has three rounds to it that i was able to memorize for a while and so i have made some snowflakes out of them these are using some uh, double crochet with chains and some picos. For the handle part, I was able to use the ends of the yarn so that I can we can hang it by the Christmas tree. So I was able to make four of this for the light blue one. And I'm thinking of maybe gifting them to my aunt, my sister or my sister-in-law. But Mama said that we can use it as an ornament for the spider plant outside since we have been using that as an alternate for a Christmas tree these past years. She has been buying some small uh, ornaments from Divisoria but it is worn out right now. So this is going to be a change for that. So I was able to make four of this in these colors and I really wanted to make more of them. So I'm going to try to go to Divisoria, to go back to Divisoria to buy the ones that I was unable to buy, the other colors. So I have made this other one in pink. So I have four of the pink ones. They are really nice looking with sparkles in them. And I'm quite glad that I was able to have some leftovers of them. So I wound them up in this. Uh, made up cartons here that I turn into spools. So now I have leftovers that I can maybe use for future DIY projects. So the other ones is this one. This has a maroon color to it. This turned out a bit smaller than the other one since the strand is much more thinner. And I have it in this teal color or teal color, blue-green. I was able to make four of them. 
And then the last one is this orange ones. So I think I need don't need to block them. I just need to stretch them out so that they will acquire that shape. So now I have those as my finished projects this week. And then you may have uh, some me start this other project. A rectangular shawl out of the Treasure Island yarn from Lion Brand. So I have been working on this these past days and this is how far I have gotten. This is how big it is right now. So these are using the cross stitch and some treble to shade. And yesterday I have made this part here. I incorporated some type of fillet to shade where I treble to shade two, chain one, I chain two, and then I skip the holes every now and then. So I have this in a uh, ten rows. So that is how big it is right now. I'm kind of liking how it is turning out and enjoying working on it. It's some type of lightweight cover or blanket at night that I can use. And I'm on my second ball right now. So I'm thinking that I will use the last ball to finish this off. So that is how it is. My other whip, my work in progress. And I have picked up this other one which I started a long time ago. I set it aside, maybe thinking that I can turn it into some type of blouse. So now, I'm going to also pick it up and continue working on it with the design that I chose for it. So as you can see, there are some shell stitches running along the, uh, the fillet crochet. So I'm gonna work on this also on the side. Another project that I have undertaken Although I don't have really that much time to work on my projects because I am helping my Ate Rina in supervising the kids with their online classes. So I often go downstairs whenever she goes to work. Although she only works for four days a week now. I was able to brave myself to unravel the bottom part of these shorts here. And then I have also taken off some of this some rows from this uh, upper part here so now i have acquired the right measurement i measured this on my other shorts and i'm hoping that this will be the right size now after that i have made some half double crochet that i decreased the measurements so now i'm on that part where i'm gonna make some double crochet for the bottom parts of it so I'm hoping to get this done soon so that I can tell my Ate Dorina that she can have it. So those are most of the projects that I have made so far. I have picked up this curtain. So as you can see, I have a change of curtain here. And then I have this other one that I spruced up a bit. <laughs> I just decided to make this as some type of change. So what I did was I put some lace, I sewed some lace, and then I sewed this uh, beads parts here that I was going to turn into stitch markers but decided just to put it here just to push up this curtain here. And then for the bottom part with the ruffles, I put some white beads running along it. So this is going to be some change of curtain for my background. I wanted to have some other type of crafting on the side, so I did that. So those are most of the things that I want to share with you guys. Um, I have still been uh, playing Ragnarok only. I have this routine in playing it wherein I just do the dailies in the morning. And after I have... Uh, worn out the combat time I set it aside and I watch uh, shows on Netflix next and I found uh, three, uh, two episodes or two seasons on Top Chef season 3 and season 4 so I was able to binge watch those and I really have fun watching it uh, 
the first thing that I do before watching the first uh, the first episode, I try to research online who the winner is so that I will know who it is right away so that I can watch the things that she or he does throughout the show. So I binge watch that show along with and after watching that I find some other show to watch so I stumbled upon this other one called Instant Hotel so I really loved also how the competition works and uh, finding all of these different uh, different sceneries in Australia so I'm having fun watching that and I'm on my second season right now uh, Daniel and I has also been playing Mini World recently, although she, he has one on his cell phone and I have one on mine. And we have these things that we can do there, like we can make some elevators, some spaceship, we can ride a spaceship. So I, I taught him how to do that. And he has been having fun uh, doing that and putting also some dynamites and blowing stuff up. So, whenever he does that, he really has this uh, giggle in him. And then we can also make some roller coasters, although I wasn't able to learn how to do that yet. But I think I have made that in the past. I just needed to recall how to make it again. So, those are the things. And share, guys. I have been busy uh, looking after the kids. Whenever Ate goes to work and also when my brother-in-law goes to work. Although, sometimes they, do, they also do all of the teaching for the kids and doing their activities. They have some offline activities that they have to fulfill, to fulfill within a deadline. So, we are doing that. And there has been some requests online about a fish keychain. I still have to learn how to do that and I'm hoping that it will be simple so that I can soon teach you how to make that. Another request is someone is asking if I am selling my patterns for my beaded wallets and the beaded items that I need. I don't have any pattern for it written out but I'm thinking of maybe doing that if I have the time just to write out some uh necessary things about a certain beaded project and then put that on my blog and also someone is asking if i sell my beaded items on shopee or other platforms i usually don't sell my beaded items because they are just small items and i am not really able to commit to a customized order for now since i have the the kids and I have some other things that I needed to do throughout the day so recently I wasn't able to commit to a commissioned work on Shopee I have so many items on Shopee that I really want to sell most of them before I commit to customized orders and I really have this thing wherein I wanted some creative, creative freedom for now <laughs> so I'm sorry if uh, I wasn't able to do your request, guys. So I think those are most of it. I'll show you most of the stuff that I have been working on. I'm going to try to make the sewing. I'm going to try to make some sewing again for the bag that I'm making. I'm thinking of maybe putting some pockets on the other side of it. So that is going to be my future project along with other ones that I have been thinking. I'm quite glad that I have my crow hole back so that i can work on stuff so i think those are most of it today here it is sunny once again and as i said the bear months is here so we are preparing for christmas i'm hoping to make some more other ornaments i still have some polystyrene rings and the uh, current jumbo yarn in white color so i'm thinking of making a some type of wreath out of that so that is it for me. I hope you guys have a fun day uh, having some family bonding time and also a relaxing day after a day's work. 
that's it for me bye for now